Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. Today we're going to be looking at the VBE, the Visual Basic Editor. We're going to be actually looking at the Visual Basic Immediate Window. We've looked at the VBA Project, the VBA Properties. And these are actually all under Views if you click on these. Um, we're going to look at the Immediate Window. If I click on that, it's going to pull that up. What the Immediate Window is, is it allows you to write code immediately and process your code one at a time. So what I'm going to do here is we've got sheet one, so we're going to go sheet one dot name, and we're going to change the name to immediate. Okay, when I hit enter, it's going to change the name. You'll notice it changed it up here in my VBA projects, it also changed it down here. With the immediate window, again, it just allows you to process code one at a time. You can also print stuff out. So if you do question, we're going to go sheet one dot name. If I hit one, it's going to, or if I hit enter, as I hit enter, it's going to return the name of that sheet by putting that. So let's go ahead and um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to process, we're going to send um, cells one one, which is actually a one. We're going to send this. This is from the immediate window. And then I'm going to hit enter. Once I hit enter, it's going to process this line. Cell 11 is good. that is going to show up. So if I hit enter, there it is. It just populates right in there. Uh, the nice thing about the immediate windows, you can do debugging. Um, you can run quick code, quick single line lines of code. You can test things. Um, now obviously, it doesn't save, uh, but it does provide the user an opportunity to write single lines of code. It can be very help helpful, and we'll look at in the future as we kind of get into more intermediate and advanced topics. We'll show how you can use the immediate window as you're processing code within the code window. So. Immediate window, it's just like the code window, it's just it's for single lines of code, it's not for actual projects. It does have some, some great uses. As we look at the next things, we're going to be looking at the watch window and the locals window. That will give us kind of our first view at variables and what we can do with variables and how you see variables, etc. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com and most importantly, learn VBA.